Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So as a filmmaker, I feel like you fall into one of two categories. The first being gear doesn't matter, just go out and shoot. And the second being you have to spend money to make money, so go ahead and get the right tools for the job. I guess the same could be said about any creative field, but there are a few that find a really good balance between the two. So I've personally never been an overly technical guy, but I typically fall into the gearhead category, which isn't always the most responsible decision. So in my efforts to find that balance, I thought that I would share with you guys some of the quality and performance issues between between this $4 condenser microphone and this $400 dynamic microphone. So I saw this deal on Twitter. Um, it was actually sold through Amazon, but I saw the initial um, price point on Twitter and thought that it couldn't be right, so I went ahead and clicked on it. And surprisingly enough, this thing was $4. Uh, and it was, I believe, free shipping too. So all in all, $4 for this, you know, this condenser microphone. Does it look cheap? Yes. Does it feel cheap? Yes, but let's uh, let's find out how it performs, you know, especially in comparison to this uh, SM7B that I purchased a while back for a <laughs> hundred times its cost. Also, if you're the type of person that cares about the accessories that it comes with in the box, it does come with a uh, shock mount, this uh, foam windscreen, as well as <laughs> this XLR to eighth inch cable. I don't think I've ever seen a cable like this in my life. All right, so I currently have everything rigged up. Um, I have this $4 mic running into my Apollo Twin um, recording audio in Logic. But right now you still should be hearing audio from my overhead mic, so don't judge the quality just yet. I should also preface this by saying that a condenser mic and a dynamic mic are very different. I've never had a perfectly sound treated room, uh, so I kind of always gravitated toward the uh, dynamic mics because they are a bit more forgiving and rejecting the noise around it. But typically with the nicer condensers you'll get a more full sound, but you'll also with that pick up a lot of room noise. So just make sure you keep that in mind when listening to these two microphones. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and hop into Logic and read some poetry for you guys so you can hear the differences between the mics. Yeah, I like it when the girls stop by in the summer. Do you remember? Do you remember when we met last summer? New kids on the block had a bunch of hits. Chinese food makes me sick. And I think it's fly when the girls stop by for the summer. For the summer. I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. I take it if I had one wish but she's been gone since the summer, since the summer. Now let's go ahead and do the same exact reading with the SM7B. Yeah, I like it when the girls, yeah, I like it when the girls stop by in the summer. Do you remember? Do you remember when we met last summer? New kids on the block had a bunch of hits. Chinese food makes me sick. And I think it's fly when the girls stop by for the summer, for the summer. I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. I take her if I had one wish, but she's been gone since that summer, since that summer. Did I read the lyrics right on both of those? Nope. So there you have it. There's the <laughs> sound differences between a $4 mic and a $400 mic. So full disclaimer, I am running the SM7B through a cloud lifter. Uh, it's a very quiet mic, so I feel like that's something that you're gonna need if you're interested in purchasing that mic. I can say that I did hear a lot of signal noise uh, in my headphones from the cheaper mic, but I guess that's just to be expected with a $4 microphone. So I do hope you enjoyed watching this video, this being, you know, my first tech product slash unboxing slash comparison video but if you did go ahead and leave the video a like if you want to see more go ahead and subscribe as always i do appreciate you watching and i will catch y'all in the next one later